Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. I grew up on a farm. I was on all colors as a kid growing up, and I just preferred the Alice. A uh, neighbor had an unstyled WC, and that was my favorite of the neighborhood. And then uh, another neighbor got a D17 new in 1958, and uh, I got to use it when it was new. It's a T16 Sugar Babe, Alice, and uh, I've been told they made 98 of them. I've seen two other ones. I know where one other one is other than the second one that I have like this, but they're scarce, not very many of them. They had a TL-16 construction loader and they took this unit, took the loader frame off the back. It steered on the front as a loader tractor. They took the loader frames off and changed the steering compartment around and made it to steer on the front then, going the other direction. And it has an Allison six-speed automatic transmission in it. And it don't have the original engine. It's got a 471 Detroit engine. And the Alice engines, when they put them in the field wide open, day in and day out, they started causing trouble. And they all got replaced with this 471 Detroit. I've never drove, in my time, I've never drove anything quite like it. You can't, up here on the seat, you can't see very well to the sides. When I load it on the trailer, I just guess or have somebody watch for me. It hangs over the trailer about four or five inches on either side and you can't see very well from up there. So, of course, any of the big ones, you get into visibility issues. This tractor actually was in, in Georgia, bought it over the phone. The other one I've got up there was in Florida. I bought it and had them both hauled home same time on the same load. And, but they came from sugarcane country of Florida. And that's where they, where they went new. And that's where they spent their life till they were wore out and got replaced with other stuff. They got auctioned off. I know part of them got auctioned off and no idea where they went. It's maybe South America, so I've been told, or Central America. And my, they may be, still be some of them running down there. I do not know. There wasn't that big of a market for them at the time. Originally, they put three or four out in like wheat country. One, I, I'm sure one went to Winnipeg, Canada. I've talked to a guy up there. He remembers seeing an orange one up in uh, Winnipeg, Canada. And the other one I know of, it's in North Dakota, has got orange paint. All of them that went south to the cane country had yellow paint. And the, the one in North Dakota's got orange paint, original paint seems to be, and it's got the original four-cylinder Alice Chalmers engine. A lot more original than, than this tractor is. Well, it's different from a lot of the early ones with that Allison automatic transmission, which worked good for uh, pulling cane wagons in out of the field, which they did that, they did tillage work with them, so I'm told. And then they pulled cane field, uh, cane wagons in out of the field to the mill and they were heavy and they could put this in first gear it was mud and wet conditions down there in the cane field and they could upshift on the go uh, with that big cane wagon this bumper up here was put on there if one did get hung up then they could butt this up against the wagon and push them out and get them rolling again they told me that that's what these bumpers were put on there for I talked to a man down there that worked for a cane outfit. This was about four years ago when I was down, three years ago when I was down there. He had drove some of these tractors when he was younger, when they were new and using them all the time. Well, the cane wagons were heavy. When they loaded them with that cane, they were big to begin with and they were heavy and hard to move. Uh, the cane country didn't have any small tractors. Actually, I've got two D6 cat tractors that are on rubber like about like this they call them sugar babes too when i first went to florida looking for this one of these tractors first man i saw and talked to thought i was talking about one of the cat tractors because he had bought one of the cat tractors at an auction it's actually a skid steer the cat dozers had steering clutches and brakes that's how that steers instead of on the axle like this so it's a skid steer cane tractor but when I said sugar babe, he thought that's what I meant. And I said, no, 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 Alice Chalmers. 
oh, I know what you mean. We said, no, I don't, I, there's none of them around. And when I went looking, I had a guy down there told me, he said, if you find one, which you probably won't, he said, I guarantee you'll have a Detroit engine in it. And it did, both of them did, yes. The only one that with the Alice engine is that one, the orange one that's in North Dakota, which I have seen and talked to the owner. And, but it was one of the first originals that was put out for test purposes. I did find an engine that's the same as what this would have had originally, which was a HD6 dozer. And I thought about putting in it and I thought, no. Okay, I, I like to look at all the new paint, mind you. I, I like, but I like to look at all of them. This has still got Florida grease and dirt on it. I like to look at all of them and that's just the way I prefer. I've got an A. Alice Chalmers down here that's got Kansas dust in the glass pre-cleaner bowl yet. It's just a matter of preference.